Among the first 2022 TVs that arrived to the creation market was LG LQ63, an entry-level series with HDR support and WebOS platform. For this test I've purchased the model with white bezel and Full HD screen, but you can also find the black variant and a version with HD ready screen. Let's find out what one of the most affordable LG TVs in 2022 has to offer. LG 2022 TV lineup consists of LED LCD and OLED TV models. LED LCD TVs include basic HD ready and Full HD series, then Ultra HD, NanoCell, QNET and QNET Mini LED. OLED TV models are split in three sections. Basic A2 and B2, then OLED EVO C2 and G2 series, and on the top is the OLED Signature Z2 model with Ultra HD 8K screen. LG's HD Ready and Full HD TVs are only available in 32 inches and feature a very basic design with two pole stand. Tested model has smooth white bezel and matte stand and rear cover. You will need a screwdriver to assemble the feet, or if you prefer, you can mount the TV on the wall. The TV has two HDMI's in version 1.4, which accept 1080p 60 HDR signal, and one of them supports EARC. I've tested standard audio return channel function, and can confirm that TV was able to send either PCM or Bitstream Dolby Digital 5.1 to the external device. In addition to those connectors, you will get one USB, one TOS link, one Ethernet, antenna and satellite inputs, and a common interface. TV has wireless connectivity options, including Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Miracast and Apple AirPlay 2, so you can easily connect your devices. TV supports Magic Remote MR22, but comes only with standard infrared remote control. I was expecting that LG would supply a matching white remote, but that's not the case. Remote has quite small buttons, and since they are close to each other, it is easy to accidentally press the wrong one especially in a darker environment. LG decided to change the numbering of webOS version, so instead of webOS 7, this year we jumped to webOS 22. The latest version looks the same as webOS 6, with the addition of new features, mainly the introduction of user profiles, which allow you to have different user accounts with their own recommendations based on the content each user is watching. Unfortunately, apart from rearranging the app list, the home menu layout cannot be changed. Though I don't like the new webOS full screen menu, I'm happy to see that LG didn't reduce its features on a basic model like this one. All the apps are here, home dashboard to control your IoT devices, for gamers there is game dashboard, and so on. The response is not instant, but it is fast enough. Stability was great during my test, and the TV boots from standby within a few seconds. Coming to picture quality, this Full HD 60Hz TV with VA panel delivers overall good results without any special flaws. As soon as you select picture mode such as Expert or Cinema, you will get white balance and colors with decent accuracy, smooth gradations and good amount of details in shadows. Just make sure to sit directly in front of the screen for the best result. LG went with the VA panel instead of IPS on this model, together with direct LED backlight without local dimming. HDR10 and HLGR supported, but don't expect picture to be any better than standard dynamic range. After all, many more expensive mainstream TVs aren't capable of displaying good HDR. LG even implemented a dynamic tone mapping option, but that can sometimes make the image darker, so you might be better off with this option disabled. LQ63 has all the controls necessary to tweak the picture, so using Kelman calibration software I was able to reduce errors in white balance and improve gamma tracking. The TV doesn't have true motion control, which means no motion interpolation, so you can only see movies in a steady tempo, which is anyway the only way I recommend to see them. The performance was stable and there were no dropped frames on all the sources I've tested. LQ63 will turn off the entire screen when there is nothing to be displayed, but good news is that it will not decrease intensity of backlight when the scene is dark, so there is no loss of details. 
The TV has an ambient light sensor that can automatically adjust screen luminance depending on the amount of light in the room, as well as AI brightness control that adjusts details in shadows using the same sensor. Motion resolution is typical for a 60Hz screen, so many details are lost in movement. Good news is that traces behind objects are not long. Sharpness is good for a 32-inch screen with Full HD resolution, and you can get full color resolution if you select the PC icon for an HDMI input. This TV can be used as a PC monitor for work or gaming, since there is no risk of burning, and response to controls is good thanks to input lag as low as 12 milliseconds in PC mode with Game Optimizer Picture Preset active. Downfiring speakers produce unattractive, dull sound which is good enough only for talk shows and news. For movies and gaming, I highly recommend external audio system. From Bluetooth speakers or headphones to sound bars or AV receivers. To conclude, even though it is positioned at the bottom of the 2022 TV lineup, LG's LQ63 has a long list of features that one would expect from a more expensive mainstream 4K model. There are expert and cinema picture modes with very good accuracy by default, light sensor and AI options to adjust image for your environment, then there is Miracast and AirPlay 2 for wireless content sharing as well as the latest version of WebOS platform with all the popular apps and connectivity options. In the end, my main complaint goes towards the remote control, which should be either simpler or larger with bigger buttons. Though there are cheaper 32-inch TVs on the market, by paying a bit more you end up with a TV that offers consistent performance and therefore gets my recommendation. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I'll see you in the next one.